Hey you guys! So, today we are looking at this, which is, well, I signed up for Hasbro Pulse um, and this was the, they, they had a special offer on because they've just started doing this in the UK and it was £20 to sign up for it so I will be getting all my posts from them this year uh, free so it's usually 40 but they were doing a special offer but I'll give it a try um, it was delivered by Hermes I think, and it got here pretty quick there was, it was supposed to be arriving on uh, the Saturday and it arrived on the Friday um, so yeah here we have the box that it came in so I shall quickly um, I'll do it on the bottom there because the top bit has a big sticker on it with my address on it which I don't want you to see and also it's a really thick sticker all right so down there yeah I was I was kind of like oh we have we have Disney Plus I keep want to call it Disney Plus Hasbro Pulse over here now so oh, there we go so there is um master packing slip in you cool. It is in there with a load of those. Ooh, I love popping those. <laughs> so, what have we actually got in here? Let's throw that over there. We have Wolverine. Though, as a dyslexic, that makes no sense whatsoever. I presume it is Wolverine, but yeah. This is the House of X Wolverine. Now, I will be honest, I have no knowledge of the comic book that this comes from. Um, I bought this because I'm trying to I'm trying to make my my X-Men team um, and I kind of like this look of it I've also just ordered the um, what's the face Dazzler the old Dazzler from a couple of years ago uh, but yeah I, I decided this I looking at these I may get Cyclops they had this one you could order um, let's have a look. They had that one. That was a pre-order. That was a pre-order. That was a pre-order. That was still a pre-order. He was pre-order but sold out, and he was still a pre-order. But for some reason they got Wolverine in, so I thought, well, I'll pick one up. So with adamantium claws unleashed, Logan is prepared to take the ultimate sacrifice to make the ultimate sacrifice in the fight for freedom for the all mutants. Now it does have. I don't know whether this has a bit in with it actually because I can't see it. One, two, three, four, five. No, Wolverine is the only one that doesn't have a part to make the Tri Sentinel. So, hmm, interesting. Now, these boxes are always a pain in the tush to open, so I'm going to try something different that I've seen other people do, which is open the bottom. There and I know I'm using blunt scissors, but they won't let me have any sharp ones. There we go. Right, we are in. Oh look, another one of those. It has a rather nice logo at the back there, which again says Wolverine, I guess. And let's see what he looks like. So, well, he's a happy little chap. And this does look like Wolverine to me. Um, funny enough, I watched this week, I decided to watch the old uh, X-Men movies again. Because I haven't watched them for a while. Um, okay, they probably upset people, but wow, we were easy pleased. Um, I just didn't find them very good. I was like, really? We used to get excited about these. So there, there we go. Hmm. Right, so he has quite a cheerful look on his face there. Now the other head has a little like goatee beard on it, which I'm not sure why. But I presume that's part of the plot or the story in it. The ears also seem to be a little bit... Oh no, they're about the same. Maybe a little bit bigger on that one. Maybe a little bit. I kind of like the fact that it's 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 a realistic looking Wolverine suit. It's also the the brown. Um, it's also more like my kind of Wolverine, and that that look is like oh I'm gonna kick ass. As the arms with the hair on them there, the claws are kind of cool. They're not overly chromed. 
which is mm, nice. Saves them a little bit of... I think they're having issues with chroming things these days because it's bad for the environment. The belt is glued. Looks to be, feels to be glued down. Which is okay, I suppose. Hmm. Right, articulation wise. Let's look at that first. So, head down. Head up. No real tilt. Little, tiny, little, weeny little bit of tilt either way. Uh, but it will, it will circulate all the way around. Um, you can... Does have the butterfly, so you are going to be able to get him in that way and out that way as well. Whichever way you're feeling that you want him to be angry or angry, he can have because he's Wolverine, he's always angry. I uh, have the circle around there. There is also a little bit of maneuverability, but wow, well, it's a bit stiff. Don't go too far about there. Hmm. That bit swivels as well, and that will go. That elbow joint is double. Will goes to about there. Not too bad, I suppose. Um. Then he has oh, crunch in the middle. Quite a lot of crunch. Quite a lot of crunch back. There is. Oh, there is swivel under the belt. So the belt, even though it's glued down, does give a little bit of turn. But then we'll go over the. The bodywork there, which is hmm, too bad. Smooth leg up, kind of leg out and bound that way. Does have swivel in the top there. He is oh, that's stiff, but no, no, not a butt kicker. Hmm. Yeah, uh, the there is no swivel anywhere in the boot. There, I can find anyway. Toes down, toes up. Has swivelly bits either way. That way, right. I'm back to there. Um, hmm. it, it's got some nice detailing on it. I have to say, the boots are a different colour than the legs. That could maybe be painted in a little bit better. But mm hmm. The boots, there is detailing on there. It would have been nice if they'd have maybe either done those, I don't know, just throw some colour on there. I, I think sometimes I look at the uh, Marvel Legends and I think they make some very nice figures. They just need kind of a wash of colour over them. Oh, the, the gloves do have a pivot in them as well. I forgot that one. There you go. So, yeah, you can swivel those around and... He is going to be very poseable. He does feel kind of small. He comes in at... Which Wolverine is supposed to be short? Uh, just a little bit under five and a half inches. Or around about the 14 centimetre mark. So he is, he is kind of... I'll give you a clue. So this is the Hugh Jackman movie Wolverine. Who is considerably taller as you can see I will say um, it is my one thing that uh, Hugh Jackman was too tall and big and at the beginning too young to be Wolverine really I mean he plays the part great but that is more what Wolverine should look like yeah I, I, I like it oh we have don't show him off with Gambit as well who's He's going to be in the team with. It's kind of weird. I've never really, I've never really kind of got round to getting the X Men. They've never made ones that I was like, "Yep, yeah, that's my X Men." This I saw and I thought, "Yeah, I like that." That is. I also think the. Um, I may be picking up the D. Well, she's called Marvel Girl here, Jean Grey. I may pick that one up. And I may get the Cyclops just because you need a Cyclops in the team. You know, to argue with it. But yeah, they look pretty good together, actually. Yeah, I know a few people are probably going to say, oh, he's a bit short, and he's a bit tiny, and he's a bit small. But that is, to me, that looks like Wolverine. Um, let's just see what it looks like with the other head on. Oh, there we go. So the head comes off. Uh... 
have an, an interesting question. Do you guys ever have one action figure on your shelf that refuses to stand up? Ah, there we go. Because I have, I now have two. Um, I have Peggy Carter and it's the uh, the military outfit version, you know, the one that came with the Captain America. And it refuses, refuses to stand on the shelf at least once a week. She falls on the floor. And I have a new one that's joined her, um, the Peter Parker from Peter B. Parker from the multiverse film. But in fact, as I started this video, he fell off the shelf. I came up, he was on the floor, I picked him up, put him back on the shelf, he fell over again. He seems to have a problem with his feet. His feet just don't seem to want to keep him on the shelf. That is good. Well, I like that actually. I was met me with the beard thing, but that looks quite good. I think this has a lot of possibility for, you know, nice wolverine -y stances, yeah? I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be a popular figure. I like it. And he feels like he's going to stand up, not like Peter B. Barker. I'm looking at you right now, pal. I, I've got a draw and it's, it's the, you've, you've annoyed me enough draw. And I think Peter B. Parker is going in that draw. Um, if you fall over more than twice, you lose your place on the shelf. That's how it has to be. There's not enough room on that shelf for all of you. And you have irritated me for the last time, Peter B. Parker. Yeah. Anyway, I've rambling. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It's a great help. Even if you didn't like the video, just hit the like button. It helps with the algorithms and things like that. Uh, yeah. Um, also, if you're new here, welcome. And please, please subscribe. It is a big help to the channel. I, for some unknown reason last night, lost uh, like six subscribers. They just disappeared, which is quite upsetting. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. Just poof, gone. Um, yeah. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you have a great night. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye now.